Battle Cry of Freedom by Nakma Nordzin. <clears throat> Part 3, Practicing Mind Training. Chapter 1, Progression Through the Seven Points of Mind Training. Point 2, Awakened Mind, The Purpose and Basis of Training. Slogans 2 to 10 say, Awaken by regarding all phenomena as dreamlike and discovering the nature of unborn primordial awareness. Then allow the method to self-liberate into the natural condition of mind and rest in that condition, regarding the phenomenal, phenomena of daily life as illusory. Awaken through fixing the breath on the practice of alternate, alternately sending and receiving. Then examine the three objects of perception and the three poisons to enable them to be transformed into three roots of goodness. Remember to practice with slogans in daily life in all activities and situations and to begin the practice of sending and receiving with oneself. Point two of Chikawa's seven points introduces ultimate awakened view and relative or relational awakened intention. It presents the fundamental aspects of view and activity from the perspective of awakening. Slogan 2 says, consider all phenomena as dreamlike. First, the practitioner looks at the appearances of the mind and recognises that they are dreamlike. Slogan 3 says, examine fundamental unborn awareness. Secondly, the mind itself is examined to see whether it exists. Through this examination, unborn primordial awareness is recognised. Togme Zangpo says, We might then wonder whether the mind itself is real. So the root text says, examine the nature of unborn awareness. Method, examination and analysis has been employed to directly experience the phenomena of the mind and to discover the natural condition of the mind. Slogan 4 says, even the remedy self-liberates into its own natural condition. Next, the instruction is to allow method, examination, to dissolve. Examination and analysis is ceased so that the natural condition of the mind is experienced. Slogan 5 says, remain in the dimension of Kunji, the essence of the path. The practitioner is instructed to rest in that state. Resting in that state, the realisation is taken into daily life and all phenomena are viewed as illusory. Slogan 6 says, everything that arises in daily life is illusory. These five slogans introduce awakening view. The next five slogans of point two move on to introduce the principles of awakening intention. The focus of awakening intention is other, that is, everything that is not personal identity. Firstly, the primary method of awakening intention is introduced. Slogan seven says, train in alternately sending and receiving, fix these two on the breath. Here, the very nature of being alive is harnessed to awaken intention for the purpose of benefiting others. Breathing is utilised as the means so that the rhythm of life itself becomes the cause of awakening. This impales the intention of being defined by the needs of other on every breath. Having introduced this primary method of awakening intention, Chikawa then turns the practitioner's mind to the barriers to awakening intention. These are deluded perception and deluded response. Slogan 8 says, three objects, three poisons, three roots of goodness. Deluded perception is referred to as the three objects and deluded response is referred to as the three poisons. Deluded perception and response are corrected through the view expressed in slogans 2 to 6, combined with the focus on others of slogan 7. So slogans 2 to 7 say, 
regarding all phenomena as dreamlike, unborn primordial awareness is discovered, allowing the method to self-liberate, the natural condition of, of the mind is present. Rest in that condition, remain in the natural condition of the mind in daily life by regarding all phenomena as illusory. Be defined by the needs of others through impaling, taking and giving on the breath. Through awakening perception and response, the three objects and three poisons are transformed into the, the roots of goodness, into the means of awakening intention. Nat Chang Rinpoche and Kandra Dechen say, Tsogchen means utter totality and refers to the natural liberated condition of the individual. This state of innate enlightenment is always there. It is utter totality, simply waiting to be uncovered. The practitioner now has everything that is needed to glimpse awakening, the fruit of practice. It is possible to begin to awaken view and intention. Chikawa stresses that mind training must be practiced at all times and in all situations. It must become a way of life. Slogan 9 says, in all activities train with slogans. Mind training is not simply a practice for the meditation room and the meditation cushion. Practitioners must continually retur return to awakening view and intention, whatever their situation. The last slogan in point two indicates that it is not helpful or desirable for practitioners to be in pain. Slogan 10 says, begin the sequence of sending and receiving with oneself. Riding the breath is utilised in Tonglen to awaken the intention to benefit others. The rhythm of life becomes harnessed to benefit others. Breathing in is receiving, breathing out is giving. Breathing in is dissolving form into emptiness. Breathing out is compassionate form arising. The intention of Tonglen is to switch the focus from self-orientation to other orientation. But practitioners are best able to help others when healthy themselves. Hence, when it is practitioners themselves who are experiencing pain and dissatisfaction in the course of their lives, the practice of Tonglen can be employed to help. When practitioners suffer illness, loss and painful circumstances, these can be addressed through using themselves as the focus for the practice of taking and giving. Practitioners breathe in and dissolve the experience of pain. Practitioners remember and ignite the joy and inspiration experience through practice and breathe this out. In this way, practitioners can relieve their own pain and refresh their connection with practice. This will help liberate the joy and energy to practice wholeheartedly that could be con constricted by personal pain. Practitioners develop the capacity to practice deeply at all times and in all situations in order to benefit everyone, including themselves, and everything, everywhere. <laughs>